Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am back with day 10 of the 2020 vision, living life through God lens, through a God lens. And this of course is a devotional that has been written and produced by, by the Well for God and the Etsy shop. So um, let's get started. Let's open in prayer and we'll get, we'll get going here. This is a really good, it's always a good devotional, but this one really has a lot of good uh, memories for me as I as I went through the devotional and thought about things in my life. So let's get started. Dear Lord, we just stop and we we thank you, God. We praise your name. We praise your name on high. We praise you when we're low. We praise you on the good days and we praise you on the bad days, God. Lord, we pray that you would forgive us where we fail you, where we absolutely just disobey you. And Lord, help us to come back quickly and completely and to turn away from that sin and look towards you. Jesus, as I get ready to begin this, I thank you, God, for Lori, and I thank you for Judy. Judy wrote this particular um, devotional, and I pray that you bless her. What a wonderful name she has. And Lord, as we read through and we hear what happened in her life, it's such an opportunity to think through the blessings in our own lives and things we may need to address in our current life. Lord, I pray that um, as I speak that your words would be heard, not mine. And I pray that everything that we do would be pleasing to you. Lord, we give you this time. I pray that you be with each and every person now and in the future who watches this video. And Lord, I pray that I would be not seen and that you would be seen in every little thing. Lord, we thank you so, so much for all that you're doing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, guys, you may hear the TV on in the other room, and I didn't realize it was this loud, but it's pretty loud. And every time I say that, when I re-watch the videos, there are a lot, it's not as loud as I think it is. But um, anybody who knows, I'm out here in the country by myself, and so every time I turn everything off and sit down to film a video, there's weird noises. And so I decided I don't want to be distracted anymore. I just want to focus on this time with y'all. So please forgive me if you hear that, but um, that's just to keep the birds quiet and everybody happy. Okay. <laughs> Especially me. I just don't want to hear noises. Okay. All right. Let's get started. Day 10, Praise God by Judy. I remember at age 12 when my parents took me out to lunch, I had recently gone through what some might term a rededication of my, of, of my life to Christ. The Spirit of God convicted me that though I had trusted Christ as my Savior, I was not giving Him priority in my life. So during that lunch date, the challenge my mom and dad gave me fell on a receptive heart. Isn't God good how He prepares us to hear and accept His Word? Mom and Dad explained that my name, Judith, meant praise of the Lord. They encouraged me to make my life one that was characterized by praise and gave me Psalms 34, 1 as my life verse. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. So I thought about this, and I've prayed things in the past with you guys, and I believe exactly this. I believe that... We come to know Christ, but there are times in our walks where we may fall away. We may not make Him priority one. And when we're in that chasm of separation, we're not completely separated because we are always His child. But, and, and I don't want to get into the, you can't lose your salvation, you can't lose your salvation. That's not even going to be discussed here. But I do want to say that wherever we are as His children, He is right there with us. And I've shared before, I have a little saying on my fridge I found in high school in a devotional. It says, when God seems far away, think who has moved. So Judith had not put Jesus as priority one. And so there was a bit of a, a gap there. There was a chasm. There wasn't that closeness. And so whenever that happens, we tend to, you know, kind of fall away. There's no way to say it. I mean, sometimes we even get into a sin cycle. You never know what causes that. But no matter what, even when we're in a sin cycle, Jesus is there waiting on us. He wants us to come back. He wants us to truly repent and seek Him and make Him the party one in our day. And when I was in high school, I was going through a rough time. It was a difficult time in many ways for me. And without getting into a lot of it, I remember 
a very sweet friend asked me one day, she said, hey, my parents are going out of town. Can I come spend the night at your house? And I said, sure. So I asked my parents. They were good with that. And um, I remember one of the nights, because she was a giggle box. She was just full of joy. And I knew her from church as well. And we went to the same high school. We were in band together, things like that. And um, she asked me one day, if I were to die tonight, where would I be? Would I be in heaven or hell? And I looked at her and I said, heaven. And she said, well, why is that? And so I shared my testimony and I said, but thank you for asking me that question because I may not be living the way God wants me to live. And I remember from that point on, there was a change in my walk. And just like Judy had her parents ask her that, how are you serving? Are you praising him all your days? Um, those were really important questions. And um, I believed if I had died, I would go to heaven at that point. But would it have been um, as rich a relationship as even today that I would have with Jesus? Probably not. And so I'm thankful for that friend. I'm thankful that she cared enough to ask a really uncomfortable question. Because honestly, who wants to ask that question? I don't want to ask that question. I've asked that question of others in an attempt to share Jesus with people. And I've had really blunt, I've even had someone say, I'd go to hell. And I'm not ready. And that's that. And, you know, left me in tears. And the person was like, please don't cry. And I was like, I'm not crying. I'm just, I, it's that important, you know. So hold on one second. Let me grab a sip of tea. Sorry, I'm just really thirsty today. Um, anyways, so long story short, I'm going to ask you that right now. I'm going to stop this devotion and I'm going to ask you, if you were to die tonight, where would you go? Are you a believer? Is Jesus your Savior, your King? Is He your, your Lord and Master? Or are you... Um, are you you know, or do you not know him? Do you think you're not ready yet? Do you think you need to be perfect to come to Jesus? Because I'll tell you right now, the answer is you do not need to be perfect. And I've received that answer before. Well, I'm not ready because I'm not perfect. And it's like, no, 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 no. You missed the whole point of Jesus. You know, Jesus is who perfects us in our life on this earth as we get to heaven. Only then with his grace and mercy do we become perfect you know in heaven not here jesus was the only perfect person to walk this earth period end of discussion and so you don't have to be perfect to come to jesus because he loves you he created you he has great plans for you so i'm going to press on but i would encourage you that if you don't know jesus as savior you're very welcome to reach out to me by email um, that is really a private conversation, and my email is always listed below in the information section. And I just would say I would gladly pray with you. I would gladly share with you more about Jesus as Savior. Um, there is a really great um, gentleman who loves the Lord, and he, I mean it's a great ministry, but there's a gentleman by the name of Ray Comfort, and he has some very wonderful videos. I believe you can find him here on YouTube. And I believe the ministry is Living Waters. And I would encourage you that if you are still sitting on the fence post and you're trying to decide, do I want to make this Jesus, you know, the Lord of my life, that I would encourage you to go and listen to some of those videos because he takes you right back to God's word over and over and over. And he tells us and answers the questions that people have today. So the questions that I had when I was a young girl may not be the same questions that people would have today. You know, things change a little bit. You know, it's a new world. So anyways, and then the other side of that is if you are a believer and you have been, you've fallen out with, of your, your habit of, of prayer and conversation with the Lord and reading his word and seeking him daily he is right there with you. All you have to do is turn to Him. And He wants to, I mean, 
He created us for fellowship. He wants to talk to you. He wants you to talk to him, and he wants to talk to you. And that's what prayer is, my sweet friend. It is nothing more than that. It is a conversation with God. So, I beg of you to open your Bible. And if you're saying, well, where do I start? How about today um, is January 30th. Start on the 30th Psalms and the, you know, the 30th Proverbs and read one a day. And in Proverbs, you'll have 1 through 31. And on a month, you have 29. You just, you just read 1 through 29. Unless you really want to read the end and then you start over again each day. And in Psalms, you just keep going. So, or, you know, and I would say don't do this. Don't wait till, you know, um, February 1st. Just go ahead and start today. Because he's there waiting on you. Satan's always going to find a reason to tell you, start tomorrow. Not today. Start tomorrow. So, crawl into the Word. Crawl into that prayer time with him. Get alone with God. He loves you. Let's keep going. That was just my personal two cents. Okay. That verse has caused me to be intentional about acknowledging God's grace, provision, and presence in a day-to-day -day life. And this is Judy speaking again. It has also heightened my sensitivity to the word praise. Throughout scripture, I can praise in spite of or because of hardship. And here's the scripture. But I will hope continually and will praise you yet more and more. Psalm 71, 14. One of my favorites, I must be careful to tell my children and grandchildren of God's goodness. One generation shall commend or praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. Psalms 145, 4. Likewise, I need to bear witness of God's goodness among the family of believers. And more scripture, I will tell you of your name. To my brothers, in the midst of the congregation, I will sing your praise. Hebrews 2.12 And another scripture, Psalms 22.3, declares, Yet you are wholly enthroned on praises, on the praises of Israel. God inhabits praise, as, King, as the King James Version translates it. Though God is everywhere, His presence is especially manifested when praise is present. Boy, that's a really good statement. And I hadn't really thought about that, but boy, is that good. I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read the scripture. It says, Yet you, God, are wholly enthroned on the praises of Israel. So God inhabits praise, as the King James Version translates. Though God is everywhere, his presence is especially manifested when praise is present. To be aware of God's active presence and working in my life, I need to praise Him. Amen. God's Word is packed with exhortations to praise. Join me this year in praising Him. And here's another scripture. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Psalms 156. Is your life one characterized by praise of God and of His goodness? In what ways can you proclaim God's worthiness to the generations in your family, in your church? How have you gained a sense of God's working in your life when you praise Him beforehand? You know, my Bible study leader one day asked me about, you know, what what is God gifted and talented you in? And, and we're talking about spiritual gifts. And I was just like, you know, because she was like, well, you're a teacher. And I said, well, I'm not necessarily gifted in teaching. And she said, well, what does that mean? And she just laughed. And I said, you know what that means? I said, that means that God has gifted me in other areas. And it works well in the areas in which I teach, when I would taught, when I taught or when I teach now. And I said, um, God gifted me in encouragement and mercy. And when I am completely out of whack, I am not encouraging and I do not show mercy. Those are the two, it's like almost like, the barometer as to where my heart is. And as I was listening to this and thinking about this devotional, um, yeah, I thought about that sweet memory of my dear sweet friend asking me that. And what a life-changing question that was. And, um, and then I also recognized, too, that where am I at now? What am I doing for this generation and the next? Am I encouraging? Am I showing mercy? Am I showing God's love? Am I a light for Jesus? And wow, that's so, so humbling to me that, and I'm not saying it, you know, you know, wow, this is all about me. I'm just giving myself as an example 
because I want to be real with y'all. And I want to say, you know, hey, it's not always easy. It's not easy always to be encouraging. And it's not easy always to show mercy. And I've admitted many times, you know, riding in a car, I am a not very merciful driver. And <laughs> I have lived in my car. This week, I have been gone Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, out of town, sometimes multiple cities and towns. I'm getting ready. My husband just called and said, I need you to drive over to the city and get our daughter because I've got a meeting tonight. And I was just like, no, please, no. <laughs> Number one, it's cold. Number two, um, I have injured my hip as my when my my knees are bad and when my right knee which is the worst of the two um it it can affect my back and hip and i have not been to my chiropractor in a long time so i called yesterday i knew it was going out so i called him and i just thought okay today i'm just going to be as still as possible i'm going to try to work in sedentary spots and just kind of you know hunker down today and when he said that i thought no and then amazon came he locked the gate they couldn't get in, so I had to go out, fetch stuff, bring it in, and part of my Amazon is so heavy, I cannot carry it. It's it's water. I buy electric light, electrolyte water from um, Amazon. It's cheapest, and they deliver it usually to my door, and my gal is so sweet. She's always like, you know, even if I walk out there, she'll be like, oh, I'll take you to your door. Sweetest people ever, and so anyway, so I just thought, oh no, so I know in my own heart of hearts, and I thought, I was reading email, and I thought, oh, I can go do X, Y, Z, because tomorrow I will be out all day. I will be going to the doctor in the city. I will be going to pay our property taxes, our getting cars, registration, inspections done, all of that, because it's the last day of the month. And yes, I have procrastinated, but we did not get paid until today. So something's going to have to happen that way. Um, I was able to cover most of it, but there's a little bit I needed to cover today. So anyways, to make a very, very long story short, I I was just like, no, you know, I, I just, every part of my body was aching, like, no. <laughs> and I just thought, suck it up. There's joy in the morning. We are going to get this done. We are going to serve. I, then God bless me with something in my email and I thought I can run this errand too. It's all good. So as we look at this devotional, think about how can we praise God? And you know, I didn't deserve for God to say, hey, by the way, you can go run this errand and I'm going to give you a 20 and a 50 and a blah, blah, blah percent off coupon. And he did. And, but it was such a blessing. So I wanted to show you guys, I've been trying to get a little bit better organized. I've got my extra ephemera, my kit right here. So, um, I've got it all ready for us to work. So hopefully things aren't going to fall over. They will, but hopefully not. I also took some of that paper that I tore in a previous video. I've been punching little flowers, little, um, clouds, um, some really pretty hearts, some journaling boxes, large and, you know, kind of the classic size if you're a happy planner. So I want to say that when boo-boos happen, <laughs> we can make lemonade out of lemons, okay? And even if today I have to go run errands, so be it. We will find encouragement and praise. And we will pray God, praise God in the good and we will praise him in the the bad. So I'm going to put here, I need to praise him. And that was a statement that Judith recognized in her own life because we are able to then know that God is there when we praise him. So I am going to start and I'll see what I have left. Many of you know, I am loving these letters so much that I am running out. <laughs> yes, I admit it. So, um, and I'm missing an R, but that's okay, because I think, I don't know if I'm going to use this other one, but we'll see. So, there's a P. Let me see what else I have. I have yellow. I thought I, thought I had green, but I probably don't. I'm just dreaming, right? Okay. All right. So, these two will be my backups. Of course, one is on paper. One is sheer on sheer plastic so there's no r's there and there's no r's there hmm well i thought that was going to be my backup let's see here we're just going to pull them all out 
There's an R. I can use the pink, and I can use the purple. There are no R's here. And I can use the red and the blue. And, you know, isn't it interesting how... Oh, I, could, I think I can get away with... No, there's no R's in the yellow. I was going to say I can use the yellow. So, hmm. Let me see. You know... Let's bring in a blue. Why not? Maybe, no, let's go red. Okay. Sorry. Such decisions. But anyways. Oh, goodness. Have you guys ordered the next kit yet? I am super excited. I was on the website today looking at some other things. And um, some other things that I needed. And I had in a cart ready to roll. And um, Anyways, I just wanted to say, it looks like they're still selling the new kit for February. So if you have not pre-ordered your February kit and you would like to do the next kit, which is in the groove, I encourage you to grab that kit soon. And on that one, I'll just do, like, shares. I'm not going to go through the devotional. This was just something, since we didn't have anything in January, um, I know many of you enjoy the By the Will um, uh whoops devotionals and um i kind of reached out to a few of you and you said yeah let's do it you know so anyways i hope you guys are enjoying this i mean i loved going through amanda's um devotional on prayer and that is from move the mountain we did that the first part of the month and then we finished out with the by the well for god devotional and i am really enjoying this 2020 vision and i've gotten quite a few messages from y'all talking about how much you guys have enjoyed it and I that just is wonderful as well as comments so I hope I'm not tearing the paper oh goodness I am you know I am let me see if I can go this way and save it somehow I think I can yeah okay Whew. man does that ever make you nervous <laughs> I'm damaging it oh no okay so all right, and my hands are so stiff and sore today. It has been quite chilly. Um, matter of fact, I being home today for lunch, it was so nice. I actually ate a homemade lunch, <laughs> and it was fantastic. Oh, I sh should have put, I need to praise him. I praise, I'm just going to put, I praise him. Um, but it was so great to be home to eat lunch. I It's so silly to feel that way. I'm starting to feel like my husband, I think. You know, he's gone every day. You know, every work day he's gone. I mean, occasionally he'll work from the property but or he'll have the day off. But, wow, I mean, whew, that's a lot of years being out every day. And so many of you work out of the home. Um, I know that, bless your hearts. Um, and, of course, I was on the road, so... You know, and I'm going to put need down here. So, um, I, I, you know, goodness. I, and many of you travel, too. I know that, too. So, my heart goes out to y'all because I've just spent so many years working from home, whether I was homeschooling my children or, you know, running an at-home business. But, um, you know, I, I just really being gone these last, you know, three days. Wow. That is a lot. And of course for us, anywhere we go requires, you know, I told my husband when I had to go get our daughter, I said, you know, that's an hour. And he was like, and I said, that's just an hour of driving. And he was like, I know, I know. And I said, and I don't mind when I go and I wait for her, which I spend two days a week driving her to two different towns. And then I just wait. Um, and that's an all day event which I did yesterday, but then I, I really rely on these days to kind of like catch up at home, catch up for work, and I made a boo-boo, but I'm going to go back in here. If this is black, it is. I think it is, and I'm just going to fill that in. Uh-oh, and I'm going to have to, sorry guys, let me forward this. Hmm. Okay. So, and I'm going to put need. All right. So I will call her back. Hopefully everything's okay. If it's not okay, she knows to keep calling. So, so I praise. I'm going to put that that is a need. 
Okay. I know I kind of messed that up, but we're going to go with it, right? <laughs> so, all right. And I just can't say enough. Order the extra letters, if unless you're doing lettering yourself, and, um, and really enjoy those letters, because I am using mine like crazy. Matter of fact, that was what was in my order when I reordered. So, I love this statement. I'm going to put rededication, because I love that and I am going to leave this part open, um, open and I'm going to write a letter to God there in light of my own rededication when I was in high school. So, um, so that I'm going to leave open and then I think I'm going to put right here I will bless the Lord at all times. Um, his praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that is Psalms 34 1. So, um, many of you struggle, um, you know, just like all of us, you know, in different ways. Everybody struggles in different ways. And I know some people struggle with their language, they struggle with, you know, negativity, whatever that is. And, yeah, I was really humbled today. I got a really sweet, encouraging email from a friend who was so sweet to me. You know, just gave me lots of encouragement. And and it was about, honestly, about me encouraging her. And I was just like, what? Oh, no, no, that's, no, that's not me. You know, I was thinking about that. And I, my husband and I were talking. And I said, wow, was I humbled, you know, by this. And he was like, yeah, I said, that's always nice when people say things like that and encourage us. And I said, yeah, I mean, so as we think of this verse and, you know, because like I said, that is one of my gifts, but when I'm out of whack, it isn't a gift. I can be really grumpy. So, you know, um, woe is me, woe is me, woe is me. And we all go through that. And sometimes we have friends that we always call and they're our sounding board, and we're their sounding board because we have a confidence. We can talk to them quietly. But um, I have to honestly say, you know, sometimes I will share things because it's a witness. It's to say, this is what I'm going through, or this is what I've been through. Isn't God good? And, but, you know, there's a fine line there. You know, you got to be really careful. So I love this. When it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually, not every now and then, not when you feel like it, be in my mouth. What a visual picture that is. That's such a word picture for us. And I love that. And I may even go back and look that up in um, the original translation. I have a Bible that, you know, I can look up original translations. And I just think that that is such a great picture of what we're to do. We are to be praising God. We are to be singing His praises. We are to let our heart be a witness to those around us of His goodness, of His glory, of His mercy, all of that. So I want to put this little heart. So this is some of that scrap paper. You know, you guys know I like to use all the scraps as much as possible. So, I'm going to put that down here, and then I'm going to put praise, because I think that we need to have a heart filled, um, praise filled heart. And I'm going to put one more thing, always. I think that is such an important perspective to have. So just right here, you know, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. That is rough, friends. I mean, that even counts when I'm driving on the roads and some silly goose pulls in front of me and almost makes me go off the road. Um, I can't tell you how convicting that is. And I do have my scripture in my car, guys. I'm so excited. Um, I have a little flip book, and then I also have on my bag that I carry every day a little scripture ring of